Friday night, you guys. Welcome back to another weekend in my life in New York City. There's currently a summer shower happening. There's thunder. I'm thriving. I'm cozy. I just made myself some dinner with just random stuff I had. Made some bonza pasta. And yes, the wheels make me happy. I had some arugula, so I did some arugula with a little balsamic and olive oil on top and some mozzarella balls. And this is my little Italiano dinner tonight alone. I'm gonna actually put it on the Kardashians, the new Kardashians episode on Hulu and enjoy because then we're getting ready. We're going to a party tonight. I'll explain more in a little. Gonna wear some eye gels or eye patches while I watch the Kardashians. I just finished eating. I'm really enjoying this Friday evening to myself. Ta-da. I'm feeling a kombucha in wine glass moment, so. I just, like, obviously I'm drinking tonight, but I just don't feel like drinking yet. <laughs> mm. Comment down below if you drink kombucha. Because I love it, and I know it's acquired taste, but I'm just curious how many of you, like, whenever I show kombucha, if you gag, or if you're like, oh, yes, girl, love it. Cheers. Romanticize your kombucha. <laughs> hey, makeup is done. Does anything look different with my makeup? If you know, you know, I tried out eyeliner today and I'm not mad about it. I think it looks good, I think. I can't really tell. Wanted to shout this out. This is the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Liquid Eyeliner. It's like a felt tip. Made it so easy to do these little wings. Um, I didn't have to like take off my makeup and redo it. So I was a little scared, but I was like, I have a little extra time if I mess up and I didn't. So very happy. Tonight, we are going to Kit Keenan's birthday party slash graduation party, and since it's a little bit of both, she thought she'd make it school-themed, which I think is so fun. So automatically, my mind went to Gossip Girl, and if you guys were watching during Halloween, Brooke and I, my podcast co-host of Gals on the Go, we were Serena and Blair for Halloween, which was really fun. And then another time in college, Ryan and I were Serena and Nate. Um, but my outfit that I picked out tonight is giving more Blair Waldorf vibes, so I thought I'd do like a headband, and I just got my extensions taken out if you guys didn't see that vlog. I'm really, really happy with it. I just wanted them out for the summer. Might put them back in in the fall to add some body, but I'm just so happy. I can just like throw my hair up however I want. So easy. But without the extensions, I feel more Blair, actually. Blair like post-summer with some highlights. Uh, so I've got like a headband, so I'm gonna do my hair. I think I'm just gonna take my Dyson Air up and like um, curl up the ends to make it super preppy and fun with the headband and this um, set that I rented from Fashion Pass. So, yeah, that's tonight's event. So, yeah, I will update you guys when I'm all dressed. Ah! Okay, you guys. Blair Waldorf is out tonight. Here is the fit. I'm about to head over to Brooke. She's having a little pregame. And then we're all going to go. Very, very excited. So, oh, sorry, my phone is going off. This set is from Fashion Pass. It's the brand for Love and Lemons. I absolutely adore it, so rent it on Fashion Pass. And I was gonna wear it buttoned, but it's kinda humid because it's been raining all day and I don't wanna be suffocating. I'm gonna wear this top from Meshi underneath. I'm wearing a ton of Chanel because it just feels right for Blair Wald Waldorf. Um, this is from Gold Vintage Chains. So it's this necklace and this, oh, oh my God, I'm sh Holy shit. Oh my god, it's my group chat with <laughs> Margot Washi. <laughs> I'm holding a bottle of tequila dressed like Blair Waldorf. I can. <laughs> this is funny. Anyways, the set, yeah. So these necklaces are from Gold Vintage Chains. I believe they're like repurposed from Chanel other things, I think. Um, yeah, hair turned out cute. I like it. I just did a little flippy uppy. Headband, scunsy. Earrings are from R8. And then I'm wearing my Vince Camuto boots. These are so comfortable. I walk the city in them. And then it just felt right to use a Chanel purse tonight. It's literally not Gossip Girl themed. I'm just making it Gossip Girl themed. But it sounds like a lot of the people are. I'm going to take a ginger shot before I leave. I haven't taken one today. And then I'm bringing baby carrots. And I'm bringing a lot of baby carrots because for Fireball. If you guys are new here, I chase Fireball with baby carrots and... Last time at Brooks, I brought some carrots for myself and everyone wanted to try it and I didn't have enough carrots, so I'm bringing a lot. Watch no one want them tonight, but whatever. Can never be too prepared. Anyways, let's head to the pregame. We're switching to the iPhone. Ah! On Brooks' balcony. Oh, it's so magical. Hi, Margo. Cutie. Oh, my iPhone quality is terrible at night. This is so... I know. Wow. 
All right, we're just about ready for the first round of shots. Is everybody ready? Nate has arrived, or Chuck, I don't really know. <laughs> outside a high of 92 we're going to get bagels this is the bagel fit also kids birthday last night gave out Pat McGrath goodie bags <laughs> this one says Kate Bartlett but they just had us take one I swear I didn't take hers <laughs> with the boys we got our bagels shout out to a podcast listener Lily I just met her because she listened to our New York City weekend itinerary podcast and came to heaven top because we talked about it so I'm so glad that we met her. Shout out Lily. Shout out Bagel. Shout out Potter. <laughs> Yum. Sitting on the balcony. How much is that doggy in the window? Doing my makeup right now for the day. I just mixed um, Super Gloop, Super Goop Glow Screen and my Giorgio Armani Foundation. So updates to come how this looks. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I just wanted to make sure I wore sunscreen today because Ryan and I are gonna be outside and my foundation was a little dark so I mixed the glow screen with the Armani foundation and it's very glowy, looks very good. Um, I just still have to do my hair. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. Still figuring out hairstyles with this and I'm, I'm nude right now. Mm -hmm. To get dressed. I ordered pressed juicery because I just needed <laughs> needed some greens. I've been into, I usually get the greens three, but I've been getting the greens two, and it is delicious. I just got two of them, and then I got um, two ginger shots as well, because naturally, so I put those in the fridge. Also, I showed you guys earlier, but I didn't, sh I didn't really open what's inside for Kit's birthday. Pat McGrath gave out gift bags, oh my goodness. So we got, what do we got here? Should have opened this before I did my makeup, probably. Skin Fetish Extreme Highlighter and Balm Duo. Whoa, what's this? The Essence, Rose the Essence, that's really cool. Bridgerton Lipstick, oh my gosh, in the shade Veiled Rose. Maybe we'll try that today. And then, um, oh my god, one of their glosses. They're so hard to get, what color is this? Paraphernalia. Excited to uh, try it out, thanks Kit. Alrighty, makeup is done, hair, I just like run, ran my Dyson Airwrap through it and um, pulled up, pulled back my hair. I don't really know if I want to or not, but I like how you can see my earrings when I pull it back like a claw clip. Um, I'm so hot, my apartment gets so hot because it's south facing. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but I'm wearing this dress. I thought I had it in Florida, but it's here, so I was really excited about it. It's from Princess Polly a while ago. I had it, I have it in white too somewhere. It's just, I don't, I literally just want to be in a bathing suit right now. It is 92 degrees outside right now. Um, so it's toasty. So I'm just wearing this, same necklaces as last night, and then earrings are from Five and Two Jewelry. I'm wearing my All Saints sneakers. These are my dressy sneakers. <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna use this bag again. And then I am just loving these sunglasses. They're Ray-Bans, I got them on Revolve, but I just liked how they were a little bit different because they had that bar. I mean, obviously other aviators are like this, but the other aviators I've had from Ray-Ban were just a little different. I like how it's like flat here, if that makes sense. I don't really know. But I'll link them below because Ray-Ban, it's Ray-Ban summer, you know. I love funky cool sunglasses, but sometimes these just go with everything. I feel like they're very flattering. Can sunglasses be flattering? I don't really know. But yeah, all right, we're gonna take a dinner shot. Wait, did I even tell you guys what I'm doing today? 
I don't think so, oh my god. So today, Ryan and I are going shopping because he needs a new suit. He's been getting to go into an office a little bit more and he literally just wears the same navy blue suit and he's like, I kinda wanna get like a light gray one or something and obviously, I have to go with him. Um, and then also we were just talking and he just like needs a little revamp on his wardrobe. Like he agrees. He just kind of wears shirts that he was either gifted for free at sporting events. I saw a tweet about this and it's so true. Or like just shirts that he's had for so long that once fit him, but once you wash them like 58 times, they just shrink and they, he's a muscly guy. And we're in New York, you know? So I wanna get him some cool, chic shirts. Um, so I think we're gonna, my friend Emma that does our podcast graphics, our creative director gave me the idea to go to Williamsburg because they have made well men in Williamsburg. They don't have made well men like in Soho, it's just women's. And then Everlane Men is right there, she said. Buck Mason, I've heard is another great guy's store. Um, and so she was like, you guys should have like a Williamsburg day. And then I was like, yes, we should. And we should also take the ferry. Cause if you guys remember, um, Brooke and I took the ferry last week fall on just like a really maybe it was earlier this year i cannot remember i think it was earlier this year but it was just a randomly beautiful day in the winter so we took the ferry and it was such a vibe we ubered up to the 34th street station um so that we'd have a longer ride to williamsburg we get on on the if you guys live in new york get on on the 34th street station um which is like in midtown and then take the Tri the train, the ferry that goes to um, Wall Street slash Pier 11. Take that all the way, get off at North, North Williamsburg, and it's a great ride, you can see the whole city. We sit up on the top of the ferry, it's outside, it's such a vibe, so that's what we're about to do. Ryan's never been on the ferry, so I'm so excited, and it's like public transportation prices, so it's 275 each way. We love it, and especially on a day like today. I like have a feeling there might be lines, so hopefully we get on and we get to sit on the top. So. That's what we're doing today. We're gonna do some shopping, and then after we go to Williamsburg, if we could, if we can find a suit in Williamsburg, that'd be great. But after we might go to Jose Bank or Joseph A Bank in Upper East Side uh, to find Ryan a suit. So we shall see. But yeah, that's I forgot to tell you guys what we were doing. So we're gonna be outside. We're gonna take Ryan shopping, which he literally does like every five years. So very exciting. I've never really gone shopping with him to this extent. So. I, hopefully, I'll be able to convince him that we can make a haul, make him do a little clothing haul when we get back. All right, guys, cheers. I haven't taken a ginger shot on the vlog in a minute, which is crazy because I still take them. Cheers. Take one with me if you want. Yeah. 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 All right. Woo. <laughs> that feels great. <laughs> this is the lip combo I'm wearing today. This is the Makeup Forever lip liner in the color Wherever Walnut. I love it. And then this Beauty Counter lip gloss that I got in the color Clove. It's one of their Beyond glosses and I think it's super shiny, super cute. So I'm gonna put that in my purse. Are you ready to shop till you drop? <laughs> Look at him all styling and profiling. Everyone had the same idea today for the ferry. This is like, I've never waited in this long of a line. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. quick trip and we waited a little bit longer than we'd like but uh, I guess I didn't think about it being super busy on a weekend so you learn from experience we're gonna go find something to eat for lunch and then shop till we drop stopped at this restaurant called Fabrica we're sitting in this little like window area outside kind of love it it's Italian we didn't even know I'm not complaining at all so I'm sure we can find something good vibes Pasta, pizza, and salad, baby. Boy, yes, we love you. The first stop. I love this shirt. You don't like? I like it. I like this monochromatic moment. Ah, oh, what a fit. I really like this on you. It's very sharp. You like it? Success. How you feeling? Doing good. We got 25% off, too. That was a nice surprise. That was good. Now we're just walking down. We're gonna check out Buck Mason. 
maybe J. Crew. All right, next stop. I like this color. Like this Very color. nice. So we came back to Madewell because it's 25% off the whole store and there's just so many great things. So it might just be a one-stop shop kind of day. I like it. Yeah, definitely not that color. That's a good vibe. With your green shorts, that could be good. Or the navy ones. Ryan has this thing where he like needs to wear something that he buys like out of the store. Like he needs to buy it and then change into it. Well, no, it's, it's any time I have, like, the first time I get it. Like, you know. Yeah, like, when you buy, like, if you buy a new pair of shoes, like, he's wearing them out of the store. If he buys one of these shirts, he wants to wear one of them, right? Mm. It's very sweet. It's not how it works, I don't think. That's exactly think? how it works. <laughs> <laughs> he's only changed four times in here, but is this what you're going to wear out? Yep. Very exciting. <laughs> Ryan, you have to do a haul. What you got? Okay. Got this shirt. Got these pants. Or these shorts. <laughs> <laughs> so we found that Madewell is just fits him, is made well for him. Um, so he got this shirt and then two pairs of these shorts. These like seven inch chino shorts. Yeah, I got one in blue. And navy blue. Then you got, show him this shirt. Got a shirt. Nice little cream colored shirt, little frocket. Very nice. Got a black shirt. I love this shirt. It's the same shirt he's wearing. It's just like this like thick material. I don't know. If your man's is looking for new clothes. Madewell was just our one stop shop. This shirt. Love it. Love it, love it. The other pair of shorts. Got some like dark, dark blue shorts. Chino shorts, yay! Very nice. Now we're about to go to Joseph A. Bank and see if they can find him another suit. He has a navy blue suit, but he wants to get like a light gray one or something, right? Yep. Exciting. Anyways, just thought it'd be fun to do a little haul. Where's Potter? Hi, Bubba! Hi! Ooh, you're not camera shy, are you? Peep the fireball back there. He's a good boy. Yes. <laughs> so cute. Now it's time to buy some suits. You ready? I'm ready. I like the color. Yeah, I do too. It's nice. Got a suit. Well, it's being altered, so we got a white dress shirt too. Successful shopping day. More shopping? <laughs> done. Tapping out. Tapping out. JK, we were walking past Zara and I said, Wanna home run it? He's like, nah. <laughs> You like it? Our Saturday nights are starting to become very, very predictable. It actually hasn't been a minute since Ryan and I have done like this kind of night. We just took Potter, the dog, for a long walk. Just came back, my apartment is so hot, it's like not cooling down, so love that for me. And we're about to go to dinner, I think we're gonna get ramen, maybe somewhere new. And then, um, New York Comedy Club. Because we weren't gonna go out tonight at all. We were just gonna like watch a movie, but it's just like bumping outside. So I think we're gonna go. <laughs> um, yeah, not going to Comedy Cellar though, because it's full. And we were like, we should like probably go somewhere else. We don't see all the same jokes all the time. Because we just go so often that we do. I just changed into this. Like, I don't even really like this outfit. I just did. Um, I love this dress though. It's from Zara. It's like a little midi dress and I just put on my Air Force Ones instead because it's just so hot like I was gonna wear boots because I love that look but like too hot like any it, like I don't know but I just thought the dress I was wearing earlier was too daytime I don't really know but I was gonna like use this bag as like an accessory to like dress up my outfit is that weird like a little a little bit of this you know it's just gonna have to work oh my god I'm sweating my balls I almost want to go outside. Good morning, guys. 
It's Sunday, I look like a mess, <laughs> but I just wanted to show on the camera. I know I'm slanted. I'm about to get up and shower. Today's my last day in the city for two weeks. I'm going home, I'm so excited. Going home for Memorial Day and just spending time with family and just all the things. I've already talked about this in vlogs, but I'm really thankful that I get to do this wherever I am. So I'm really excited to go home. I really miss my dog and my family, but I really miss my dog. She can like talk to your family, but you can't be like, hey Finley, what's up? Like, what's new? You know, like I have to like see him for him to know like I still care about him. So excited to go home, just like be by the water, be outside. I'm from Tampa, Florida, if you guys are new here. But, so I have to pack today, but I want to make the most of this beautiful day in the city. Um, and my packing's going to include just like throwing a ton of stuff in my biggest suitcase. <laughs> so I'm not too, too stressed about it. Um, yeah, we're going to shower. How many times have I said that? I'm going to brunch with my friend Seb and maybe her roommate Emily, who's also my friend, or and or my friend Morgan. I don't really know. We just kind of told some people and whoever shows up shows up and we'll eat together um we're going to this place called the smile i've been wanting to try it's on bond street in noho every time i walk by it, it just looks so like cozy cute and the food looks good and i looked at their menu they have like a breakfast burrito they have like eggs with avocado which is so my jam right now um but yeah i've just been watching youtube videos this morning it's been a nice little cozy morning Happy Sunday. Let's get on with the day. All right, I put you guys on the tripod for this because this is my first time attempting to do like a sleek bun since I got my extensions out. And that was like one of the big reasons I was excited to get my extensions out for the summer because I want to like, you know, slick it back. And I watched so many TikToks and it's so hard. I thought it'd be so easy without my extensions, but like it's still hard. So I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna do my like skincare first. No, I feel like I should do my hair. All right, I genuinely, like people were like dousing their hair in like gel and I just like don't wanna do that because what if it, I don't like it and then I wanna put my hair back down? Like you can't. But then maybe that's the reason people put the gel is so it actually works, I don't know. I wanna do that like Bella Hadid, like it seems to me what people do is they like comb all the hair back except for the front too but I just like don't, understand why I guess to make it look lifted hold on also you guys are on a tripod for this like I really am like doing the most okay so this is what people do on TikTok they like tie <laughs> the front two pieces and then I guess like brush it back I really don't know what I'm doing I need one of my friends who does this all the time I need to like ask Kit or Kelly or someone that like knows what they're doing like this looks so odd Oh, by the way, I think this is definitely like a key in the bun. This boar bristle brush, I got it on Amazon. It was like $15 and it's been the best. You guys always ask me how I did my ponytails. This brush is everything to get all the hair back. All right, so we have that and then do I just bring these pieces back? No, no. Okay, back with updates. Okay, so I just had to like shut up and like look in the mirror, brushed it back, and then I just tied it like a normal bun and I just left a little out because I feel like that's what the trendy girlies do. Except I, I haven't seen it from the back yet, so I'm nervous. Oh, I didn't do half bad. Like, I feel like I need some serum on this little few pieces, but like, okay, okay. And here's this Gizu serum, just like a little. A little little bit do it on the <laughs> just so they look a little extra shiny you know I guess I could just slick back right it's that wet look okay well now that I'm putting serum in my roots like this is the hairstyle of the day because there's no going back once you put serum in your roots or any oil in that case I think I did it and I feel like if I touch it anymore there's like a little hair that's on the loose back there but I just don't care enough if I touch it anymore I think it'll mess up <laughs> But I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in with this Living Proof Control Hair I'm in a silly mood just to like secure the bag. Yay! Thank you all for following along. <laughs> okay, before I do my skincare and stuff, I wanna brush my teeth. So I need to chug this green juice. I don't really know in what order to do this. I guess we'll start Ella Lou's Beauty Oil. 
I'm not gonna do makeup. We agreed on no makeup. You know, like when you're talking to your friend and you're like, what are we wearing? Like, are we are we wearing active wear? Are we wearing cute clothes? Are we wearing makeup, you know? You just have to like double check on that. I really like this Ella Luz beauty oil. I usually use it before I put on makeup, but I just wanted like a little glow. I just wanna do a little gua sha. I don't really know if this ever works, but I feel like it does, especially if I like use it like right before I'm putting on makeup or going out for the day, it's kind of just drains your face a little bit. Then I'm trying to be better about wearing sunscreen and it's like 82 degrees outside, it is sunny and it's not like you should wear sunscreen every day. I'm getting better at that, but super goop glow screen because we're just going out with a bare face. You know, it's a little tinted, but like not really. It's just like more so glowy. Just got a little bronziness to it and you're protected, which we love. Love all my shoulders. Sunday Riley Auto Correct Under Eye Concealer. Did I just say under eye concealer? Oh my gosh, no, under eye cream. <laughs> wow, I love this stuff so much. Okay, this is like something I want to try. This came in Kit's little goodie bag from her birthday and she just posted on her story using it, so I wanna try it. One set, this is Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Highlighter and Balm Duo. So this side's the balm, like literally lip balm. Oh, feels good, I can confirm. So you've got glowy lips. And then this is highlighter. And I know I'm not wearing makeup, but I kind of just wanna like try. I mean, I think that did something. But I also have like oil on my face already. Oh! Hello, Sheen. Hello, Matilda. No, I'm kidding, I wish. Put a little on my nose. I think it's doing something. I think it added a little glow. We'll take it, right? Okay, I do want to do my eyebrows, though. I really like this Refi Brow Gel. It's like to get you that like soapy brow look or what's the other uh, laminated look. So I just put on the product. And then the trick that I didn't even know before. <laughs> you lift the cap off and then you like laminate it or brush it, whatever, whatever tickles your fancy. I need to look in the mirror, one sec. Okay, obsessed. It just like elevated my brows. Clean girl aesthetic. <laughs> That's what this is, honestly. I'm attempting a clean girl aesthetic right now. Might as well just add a little blush. I feel like I have this problem where I just add one thing and then I'm like, ooh. But this is actually all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna add bronze or anything, just a little blush, just Morphe blush in the color Audacious Apricot. My friend Meredith's little, little, it's her blush collection with them. I'm just gonna add a little color. And it blends so well because I just have like oil and no powders or anything. Okay, I kind of like love what's happening right now. Me trying to do the clean girl aesthetic and I noticed like they put it like kind of everywhere so it looks like you got like some sun mm! I'm so happy with this I don't even have like face makeup on okay and I've never tried this either we're just trying all kinds of things this is the rare beauty like blotter and it comes with blotting sheets but then also this apparently has powder in it I just wanted to blot my forehead is it working I feel like it's not really working it's like, we love the glowy look, but not necessarily on the forehead. All right, what time is it? Oh my God, I have to stop, start walking in four minutes to get there in time. Oh my God, my friend Morgan's gonna come too. Yay, okay. Clean girl aesthetic. <laughs> we went for it, oh my gosh. <laughs> Need deodorant. Um, that would be treacherous on a hot day like today. I think I'm gonna show you that Oh wait, perfume. I'm gonna go for Noir, Tan Noir from La Labo. Ooh, should I try Gym Lips? That's my friend Kelly's thing. Gym Lips is this thing Kelly came up with where you like line your lips with like a color that really matches your lip color. Like she like wears it to the gym. She literally is amazing. So I bought this one from Huda Beauty and then puts like a lip balm over it. So I'm using the Summer Fridays one. Yay! Okay, we did it. See, there's just flyaways, and that's just gonna bother me, but that's okay. 
Okay guys, I'm just so impressed. Like this is so nice. I don't have face makeup on. It looks so glowy. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing these sunglasses from Bottega. Um, okay, my, I didn't make my bed this morning, so it's not very clean, girl. I'm <laughs> this romper is from Spanx, actually. Wait, the lighting is so bad. This romper is from Spanx. I'm obsessed. I told you guys the accessories, same bag as last night. And then I'm just wearing my Air Forces and little socks. But I feel like I need to add like this white button up in some capacity. I just feel very nude. I know I'm not, but like I just feel like I wanna do that. It's gonna be so annoying to pee in this, but whatever. Like I think that just kind of pulls everything together even though it's not cold out I don't need this at all all right that's it that's the look let's go eat I'm such a breakfast person I'm so hungry so let's go guys it's so hot right now I'm fanning ourselves we finally got seated I'm dying Guys, look at the way they swirled this avocado. I'm dying. I know. I'm like, I'm gonna get the breakfast burrito next time. It's delicious. We also sat inside because it was so hot out. Oh my gosh, it is so hot out. Just left breakfast. I'm going to run an errand in Soho. Guess who I was sitting next to at breakfast? None other than Mark Jacobs. The Mark Jacobs. That was so cool. The smile. A lot of restaurants in NoHo in general and good for celebrity sightings if you're wondering. It's like hot out, but like it feels so good. Whew, oh my gosh, my legs are like jello right now. Um, honestly, that was a good way to get moving for the day. I've been out for a couple hours now. I went to the Smile, which was nice. And then I walked around Soho because I had a couple things I wanted to pick up. And I was like, oh, I'll just like leisurely walk around. Not the type of day. It's a Sunday in Soho. There's so many people. It is so hot, like, oh my gosh. And it was this hot when I moved here in August, I just kind of forgot. So I'm glad I was literally wearing this because all I wanted to do was like be in a bathing suit and not saying a lot. So I'm glad I did a no makeup makeup look rather than like actual makeup because it would have melted off. I thought I'd show you guys really quick what I got. Um, just some repurchases. Every time I go to Sephora, the Kosas Revealer Concealer is out in my color for my shade, but they had it this time. I just love this stuff so much. Um, this is 02W, I believe, yeah. And I just use that under my eyes. And then this actually, no, I have tried. My like hair salon in Athens would like give this to me when I left. Um, it's this brand K18, and it was like in the little travel section. It's leave-in molecular repair hair mask and it's just phenomenal this stuff makes your hair so soft it's kind of like olaplex i think i don't really know but i just got a little mini one to bring home and i might do it today too i might do a little hair mask moment a little olaplex bun a little k18 bun because um i don't have my extensions in anymore my hair is a lot more fine obviously than like without the extension or with the extensions that's why i got the extensions um, and I'm gonna be like in the pool a lot and stuff, so I just feel like my hair's gonna need some TLC while I'm there. So it's just um, it says shampoo, do not condition, towel dry, um, and then three pumps work evenly from ends to roots. Do not rinse out. So oh, this is leave-in. Duh. Day. I actually meant to get not the leave-in, but that's fine. No, no, this is what I used. This is what I used. I just. I'm so out of it. I'm like so tired and hot. <laughs> um, and then I went to Malin and Goetz. I really don't know how to pronounce it. This is a repurchase. I just ran out of this perfume. And it takes a while for me to get through perfume. That's when you know I like it. Like I'm about to run out of my Baccarat Rouge, which is also just an amazing perfume. But this is the Vetiver scent. You guys know I love anything Vetiver. And, but in specific from Malin and Goetz, because sometimes Vetiver can smell a little like smoky, not the vibe, but this vetiver is like, okay, I'll open this off camera. It's like a clean vetiver. I got it last summer and it just ran out this summer, so I got more. It's just like my summer scent. It's so fresh. It puts me in a good mood. I smell like I'm in a nice hotel and we all know that's my vibe. So yeah, I just got my suitcase from my storage unit downstairs. I'm gonna 
just do things around my apartment. We're gonna pack, I'm gonna probably put something on TV. Thank God my apartment's like 64 degrees right now. The AC wasn't working yesterday, but it's working today, so we love that, that's a win. Um, oh, laundry, just stuff, so see ya. Just washed my face, and they gave me this sample at Malin and Goetz. It's a detox face mask, and I'm really interested in it because he said it like bubbles up on your face. And I used to have one of these from like Bath and Body Works years ago, and I loved how it felt. It felt like, what are those called? Like um, pop rocks on your face. Our oxygenating gel mask deeply purifies and locks moisture. I think it just like cleanses your pores. So I just want to try it out. It's indeed starting to bubble. I'm liking it so far. Oh my gosh, can you guys see how much it bubbled up? This is incredible. I feel like Santa Claus. <laughs> look at <laughs> I look like a different human. I look like a chipmunk. <laughs> I don't even want to rinse it off, but it's starting to like tickle. I'm gonna take it off now. The hot weather was making me crave a buy a bar bowl. I'm addicted to these as you guys know. Oh, so good. Laundry's being done, packing is about done at least in the sense of putting everything out that I want to put in my suitcase. Here, I, I'm going home for two weeks, so keep that in mind, but I am an overpacker in general. These are all my little like tiny tees, I call them, just like little t-shirts and like crop tops and stuff like that. Workout sets, like leggings, a little tennis dress, two t-shirts, that's usually what I sleep in, and then over here. So while I'm home, my friends from college are coming from Memorial Day weekend, so we're like, you know, doing some fun stuff, going out, um, and then I'll be doing stuff on my own, and then Ryan comes. It's just like a fun, packed two weeks. So here I've just got some like sundresses, random stuff. These are all the tops that I'm bringing. And then bringing two pairs of jeans, two pairs of jean shorts, and then two of pairs in different colors of my favorite like cargo pants. This is a hoodie I might wear on the plane tomorrow. These are the bags I'm gonna bring. Uh, they speak for themselves. As for shoes, I'm gonna bring these from Ray, these from Aloha, so these I got at Primark. I don't think I'm packing these. Everyone made fun of me for these. I think they're so cool. Um, and then I'm wearing my Adidas Ultra Boost at the airport because I actually just bought a new pair of Air Force Shadows. Those are the white sneakers I wear every day, and I ship them to my house, so they'll be there. So yeah, I don't think I'm packing these. They're just too big for a trip. And then here we've got the accessories bar. I don't know what I was thinking. I just like I'm feeling colorful. I'm feeling like going ham. Even though I'm pretty much just gonna be by the pool every day. Thought it'd be fun to wear some like little bracelets, earrings. Oh my god, I just got these sunglasses from iBuy Direct and judge me if you want. I think they're so sick. Then these are the other sunglasses that I am bringing. These are Ray-Ban. Bottega, YSL, I buy direct. Yeah. Just realized we had to pack my bathing suits. So they're on that bin up there. I need to grab my ladder and get that. And then I also just bought some bathing suits from Monday Swimwear and another brand. Oh, Devin Windsor Swim. And those I shipped to my house as well because I just figured that made sense. And then obviously this is gonna be my carry-on bag. It's her first trip, I'm so excited. Um, this is amazing, I talked about it in another vlog. This is from Base Travel, I'll link it below. It's amazing for organizing things in your carry-on bag. Um, so I'll put more of that together. I gotta get my supplements, stuff like that. And then I wrote in my calendar for today, or my planner or whatever, that I wanna go through my everyday makeup bag and kind of sift through it, cause I always like, add products to it and then I'm like wait I'm only using like you know seven or eight in here and I want to add some of the stuff that I used this morning for that like no makeup makeup look because that was such a vibe um, and then I need to add my concealer you know just kind of go through it got my travel stuff here got my other toiletry bag I just need to kind of decide what's coming where <laughs> I'm now pulling some hats for the weekend or the my trip um i really just want to bring them all because i feel like i'm gonna wear them a lot but that can't happen i mean obviously got to bring gotg love that trucker hat love my <laughs> go yankees <laughs> um i kind of want to bring this too all right that's good that's i'm overpacking now and then also gonna pack this lack of color pink bucket hat 
and then this one's actually lovers and friends this one i loved last summer oh my gosh i wore it all the time still love it it's just great for like reading and then this hat is also from revolve i forget which brand janessa leone love this hat it is so flattering um so yeah obviously those aren't gonna be piled like that i just put them on my bed to remember on my suitcase to remember to pack them going through my swimsuits now um i just got this one because i have it in burgundy and it's so flattering i love it so much um it's from camilla coelho what else do we have here i do love this swimsuit it's a little orange moment this one's also a favorite of mine I'm definitely going to bring a ton of bathing suits because I'm kind of in them every day. This one's cute. <laughs> you guys are like, uh, what are you not going to pack? Okay, hi. I showered and then I attempted to do the no makeup makeup again. Might have put too much blush on, but we're just rolling with it. I did the exact same thing as earlier. Um, I just blew dry, blew, blew, blow dried my hair. <laughs> Can't think. Um, just like a little straight moment. And then I put on this dress from Revolve and these bracelets, they're from um, Lisa Goslin Jewelry. I love them. Um, yeah, so Ryan and I are about to head to dinner and I was like, let's try somewhere new because we're always like ramen or like this place around the corner, whatever. Last time I was in like Seaport area, I kind of walked a little bit further than like just the Seaport in Fidei. There was this restaurant along the water called Industry Kitchen, and it just like had really good vibes. The menu looked good. They have all different kinds of things. It's an American restaurant, um, so we're gonna go there and hopefully get to see the sunset, um, which would be really nice. And just like sit there, maybe have a beer, you know, because I leave tomorrow and we won't see each other for a little bit. And then he does come to Florida next week, which I'm really excited about. But yeah, because he has a lot of work to do. He's like practicing some stuff for some presentations on this week at work. Um, so we're just gonna like do dinner and then probably split up. Um, so it's just perfect. I love quality time. I'd rather that. Yeah, I feel like it does look like I got sunburned, but that's okay. Maybe I need to tone it down a little bit. Anyways, that's that. And then we'll come back and I'll do my toiletries and everything. I'm using this purse. It's a JW Pay. And then I have my All Saints sneakers on. These are my dressy sneakers. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh baby, we got pizza and a salad. Ryan got chicken. Yum. around fight eye a little bit it was so lovely and just so nice out I just love being over there I met some of you guys I'm gonna finish packing and then get right into bed read a little bit I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend in my life vlog and I'll see you guys next time for my next video bye